Today, I am talking about my physics engineering project. Due to my inability to record quality audio for this video, I will be using this synthetically generated voice. The task of this project is to create a thermometer, just like one you would find around your house. Displayed here is a regular mercury thermometer, because of the improvisational nature of materials provided for this project. This thermometer will be a lot more accurate than the one I will be making. This is the basic construction of our thermometer. As you can see, it consists of a glass test tube, a rubber bung with a long glass tube, a temperature scale and some thermometric fluid. The thermometric fluid consists of equal parts 78% alcohol and water and is dyed red for visibility as the thermometric fluid is heated, it will expand linearly and rush up the test tube. Now I will be taking the lower temperature point of my thermometer. I placed the thermometer in a beaker of iced water, of which the temperature is approximately 1 degree Celsius. The thermometric fluid contracted and reached its lower point, as you can see in the picture. I marked this down on the backing of the temperature scale. Next I will be taking the higher point of the thermometer. I've placed the test tube into a hot water bath at 37 degrees Celsius. As you can tell the thermometric fluid level has already begun to rise. At its peak, I used a ruler to note its height relative to the mouth of the test tube to mark it down on the backing of the temperature scale later. In this picture, I have attached the temperature scale and have already marked down the lower temperature point, and is just about to make down the higher one. After that, I marked down the temperature scale itself, thereby completing my day thermometer. It isn't the most accurate or the best looking thermometer. But at least it's something and I've learned from this experience. Thank you for watching.